that swipe, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I see you, Ross. <laughs> I see you. Welcome to Portland Place Your Thing. I'm Kat. I'm Amanda. And tonight we are doing a Skype Inger hunt. What is that, Amanda? It's where we're going to have a scavenger hunt via Skype. Switch the camera to show Skype. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Now you guys are on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Megan and BJ. Hello. I'm Megan. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kitty. Yeah. All right. So uh, here's the rules of the game. Are you guys ready? Outside. And they already know, so we're just going to tell you guys. They're in their house, Skyping from there. Oh. And <laughs> uh, we are going to give them things to find. They have to find them. And if uh, they get points for every one they find, and uh, they don't get points for anything they don't find, it's a competition. Um, and uh, whether or not their fines count for some things uh, is really up to us. Mm -hmm. P, P, or T, it's subjective. P, P, or T? <laughs> Megan and BJ, BJ and Megan, how are you guys feeling about today's competition? Huh. I am feeling <laughs> adequate. All oh, right. Good. That's basically our show right now because you guys are just a mess of blobby shapes. Yeah, it's great. Oh, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> um, also in today's episode, <laughs> shut up, Megan and BJ. Oh, shut the fuck up. Also in today's episode, we have a great band with us today. We do. They are called Pretty Girls on the Radio. And they'll be playing for us twice today. Twice. Twice. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at where they will be. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, decorating our two. I'm going to just call you champions right now because you are. Champions, pretty good. Uh, decorating our two champions are Sleepy Lane and Andrew, who will be our go go dancers this evening. Look at give, yeah, give them a little yeah. sample. Give them a little sample. Great, great. Love it. Both things Just are wonderful. Go go dancing meaning yes. reading a book. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, without further ado, I think we should just get this fucking shit started right now. Okay. Do you agree? I agree. I agree. So, okay. you will each for every single uh little round or whatever we give you, you will have one minute exactly. One minute. Okay. To find the thing. From the, from the time you're done reading the question or We're reading the thing. I'm gonna say go. Okay. Okay. All right. So from the end of the time you say go. <laughs> BJ, don't make me talk you boys already. <laughs> I got a pen. All right. Uh, the f act one, round one of round one, phase one. Round one. Round one is the topic is objects. You have to find one oh. of each. One of each of these objects. Do we go at the same time? Yes. yes. You need to find. You need to bring us a picture and a cleaning product that's different from the other person's. Ready? Go. <laughs> Which is all we really wanted. <laughs> That's all we wanted. That's all we wanted. Oh, look at BJ. Okay, you're it. Oh, there's oh, a cow. Oh, there's a cow. Make it back. Make it back. Oh, make it. You know what? You, if you get it first, you get an extra point, I think. <laughs> oh. And uh, BJ. Lower it down. Lower it down. Lower it down. There you go. All right. All right. Megan actually gets uh, a plus. But Megan gets a bonus point. Jacob, cut it. Cut it. Megan gets a bonus point for getting it first. Good job. All you right. Guys, You're really I loved good it. This. You scared your dog. You <laughs> freaked out your cat. I loved every second of it. All right, you want to start the next? Okay, phase? I need both competitors <laughs> in front of the Skype. Yeah, put your pictures back. Yeah, you know what? You can clean up when we're all done. <laughs> I just put it in the hallway. <laughs> we're so mad. Just leave it in the kitchen. Okay, see? The next one. The next thing. So my thing says different dish. 
So you have to find a dish, and it can't be the same dish. So it can't be two plates. It has to be different dishes. And you each have to find a book that has at least 563 pages. Go! <laughs> <laughs> There's a cat. Yes. There's one over there. there. <laughs> this is fun for me. Yeah, we're having a great time. <laughs> there's a dog and there's cats like Don't know what's years. happening, but there's so much energy in here right now. Man, I wish this picture oh. was clearer. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, 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 shit. oh BJ oh. gets a point. BJ gets <coughs> You're being first. All right, Jacob, cut it. Let's see. Oh. What have you got there? What did, what did you what get? What did you Mark. grab? Uh, Edgar Allen puzzles and details upon silver thousand pages and the cool green dish. Green dish, what do you got, Wait. BJ? I grabbed a plate. Plate? And blood letters and mad and bad men. Perfect. All right. Next up. Drop all of that shit. Break the dishes. Next up is you have to bring us each a different cat. Oh. Wait, 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 wait make did, it, wait, make it. Did we say go? <laughs> we did not yet Stop. say go. Docker point. Megan. Negative one point. Wait, Megan, you, Megan, Megan Louise Johnson, you got docked a point for starting too early. <laughs> you have to okay. each bring us a different cat and what? dog. Go. <laughs> okay, so they're both going to try to get their one dog, Norman. That's why this is particularly funny because they only have one, one dog. dog. <laughs> so, so Megan got docked one point for cat premature. Premature cat. That's you can't you can't do that. Oh, uh, oh, uh, you can't uh, He has one cat. One cat. I see what? one cat. Oh, look at that cat. Blurry as fuck. <laughs> Ooh, that's a blurry cat. <laughs> okay, where's the dog? Where's the I dog? Him, oh, that's where he is? Alright, All right, cut right. it, Jacob. Shut up. Again. There's Shut up. Norman. Alright. Oh, Alright, okay. so who who brought Norman? I think BJ did. I did, I called him in. Yeah. All right. He followed me when we got the cat. So <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was... <laughs> also, Megan, this is a yes. warning. That was not a live cat. You didn't specify a live cat, you just a different cat. Oh really? Because let me state the final thing in the objects round. You both have to find a non-living animal. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, just a, just a note. Yes. You gotta give him time to speak because there's lag. That's fair, there is <laughs> lag. Oh, BJ! Uh, uh, uh. Cut it, Jacob! What the fuck do you have, Megan? It's a laughter cat toy. It's a non living thing, animal. It's an absolute non living thing that's an animal. And you have a Cthulhu? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah, no points. <laughs> it's a non living thing that's an animal. Not an animal. That's Cthulhu. It's a, at least a demigod, if not more so. Yeah, but he's still an animal. We're all animals, man. <laughs> not an animal. Gods are not animals. Cthulhu exists without the nature of space and time. Andrew just said yeah. Cthulhu exists without the nature of time. Still, you know what? An how animals That's exist inside yeah. space and time. That's how animals exist. What's the back of my hair? All right. The next no, round. Are you ready for the next round? You feeling pumped? You get the yeah, idea? All right. Let them talk. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm we getting have plenty excited. of time. We have so much time, and I'm just getting so overworked. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Okay, wait. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Do you want to do the first round? Tell them what the next okay. The next round is shapes. Shapes. You have to find us things in these shapes. 
in those shapes. Yes. Okay. Sure. Gotcha. The first one's going to be, well, actually, let's start at the bottom. Are we doing, okay, bottom? Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, Amanda, you want to read the first three? Yep. All right. These are your first three shapes. You ready? First three shapes. Okay. Oval, hexagon, oh. rectangle. Hexagon. Go! Rectangle. <laughs> Oval. Oval. Hexagon. hexagon. Are you going to do a hexagon with your fingers? Oval, hexagon, and rectangle are what they're looking for. Now, I would accept um, picture frames, rectangle. Yeah, yeah. They have plenty of picture frames. Um, oval, I feel like you just got an ache. What Ooh. is Megan grabbing? Megan, Megan made a run for it. Um, that is a great idea, and I don't know if they've heard you. Uh, BJ probably did, because he's a cheater. Who is a cheater? Well, except Cocoon. for Megan's the only one who's got dark points for cheating. No, nah, I think BJ did, because he tried to bring up. Oh, Megan. Thing. What do you got, Megan? I got a rectangle. A rectangle that looks like a rectangle. Sir, oval. That's an oval. Know, that's yes, an oval. yes. I hope I remember what a BJ, hexagon. BJ, your time's up. <laughs> hexagon. Yeah. Absolutely hexagon. Yeah. Megan, plus three. Megan. Oh, I got plus a rectangle one. and plus oval. So I know. I, that's what I was saying. I somewhat. So I didn't get it. No, you're totally not wrong. That's not supported. That's, like, contradictory. What's happening? Yeah. Pardon? Uh, Did you get your three things, BJ? No. Yeah. I, show, I showed them. I showed them. I had a book and a, and a kind of a thing. We can't. Not a, not a... Okay. Okay. You have to show a... We, you're lagging a lot, so we need you guys to show it to us for a decent amount of time. Book, Book. rectangle. Yeah. And then that thing that he first showed. Okay. I'm, All right. I'm two points. Two points. Two points. All right. Two points for BJ. Okay. The next group of shapes. Are you ready? Yeah. Star, hourglass, and a sphere. Go! Sphere. <laughs> Sphere. Sphere. Just do that in the mic for an hour. Sphere. What? Sphere. Yeah, like I guess. Breaking it down. Get, get, funky. It. get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Not sleepy tonight, no ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it. It's hard. This one's hard for our contestants today on Skype and Drew Hunt. <laughs> Skype and Drew Hunt. Be your team. We're trying new things, man. Who else is doing scavenger hunts over Skype? Not a single goddamn person. Not Oprah. <laughs> Not Oprah. <laughs> I think we see why no one else is doing scavenger hunts over Skype. I, Especially I, involving Washington. Yeah, we take risks. Yeah. And sometimes they pay off. And sometimes, sometimes. Washington doesn't have internet <laughs> for no reason that's never happened before. We tried to do this before and that's what happened. Ooh! All right, oh, Megan, Megan, where's BJ? Time's up. Time's up, you guys. What do you got? What do you got? Um, I found a sphere. Sphere. And a star. And a star. Uh -huh. Oh, tiny, yeah, yeah. tiny, yeah. Tiny star. I mean, I couldn't find that oh. I found a star. Let's see it. Talking about Cthulhu. All no, right. Yeah. Star, star, okay. star. Yeah. Sphere. Sphere. Just <laughs> black. Just a black thing. A black thing. <laughs> a <dryer> ball. <laughs> what? And that's it. All right. All right. No hourglass was found. I think no bonus. No bonus no. that round. That was good. Um. All right, Amanda. Oh, this one's gonna be harder. This one's gonna be harder. Okay. Are you guys ready? Listen. Yeah. Very. Listen very carefully. Okay, rhombus, cylinder, <laughs> you guys are listening carefully, splat, go. <laughs> oh, Megan. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> you gotta love this uh, fucking uh, public 
Domain Benny Hill ripoff. I know I do. Alright. This is uh, the jam. You may recognize it, uh, frequent viewers, aka fans. <laughs> fans of the show might recognize it as the random thing that Jacob played during the one crew over the group Christmas <laughs> last month. I think our competitors are struggling. <laughs> yeah. Describe the object that they grab. Just describe it. That they grab. What does this feel like? Is it tangible? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Oh, time's up. None of our competitors are back. We have no competitors. We have a stuffed cat. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> And then I okay. found an envelope that has pictures on it. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if it was flying or not. So they tried. Okay. <laughs> and then I got to go out. From the Vancouver Brewery Tour. Good times. Shout out. Do you have a what? rhombus? No. no. <laughs> That's a rhombus. Their phone's so bad. Wait, did we see Megan's or did I just miss it? I that? didn't see Megan's. I just saw something Megan. <laughs> All right, cup, solid cylinder. And then this, uh, this is a jar of vegan mayonnaise, and if I were to take this out and throw it, it would make a flat shape. You know what, we'll count but it. I, that I, counts. I like where your head's at, Megan. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> fight, fight. All right. Here is your final round of shapes. There are four shapes in this one. Are you ready? No. Oh, I'm just gonna write them down. I'm just gonna write them down. <laughs> yes, let's slow it. This will be the last one, and then we'll cut to our musical guest. Yeah, and then we'll just do the yeah. Yeah. All right. We need something round. Round. Something pear shapes. Something square, and something triangular. Go! <laughs> if Megan comes back with like, I am the pear shape. I am, sure, sure. I will accept it. Yeah, I will absolutely accept it. A million this. times. This, this character head is really about thinking outside of the box. The box that you have to show us. The box you have to show us that you found. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's thinking outside the box, but inside the house. How are you guys doing? No one can hear you. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Cat. Cat. Okay. Oh, okay, right across the screen. How's your book, Andrew? Oh, 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 shut oh, up, shit. Andrew. I don't know if he's here. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> there's, there's a ghost. The there's a ghost in this room. Oh, 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 oh. 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 there's something. There's, there's, there's. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up, guys. Time is up. What do you got for us? Yeah. Okay. Did you get all four? Triangle. It's my glasses case. I know. I need that to see. <laughs> and a square, a tea bag. Uh-oh. Describe it to us. Oh, oh there's there a square with okay. a square. All right, all right. A tea bag package. Yeah. Yeah. And round it is a pretzel bun. Pretzel <laughs> bun. I will absolutely accept a pretzel bun for round. <laughs> that is correctly round. Uh, do you have any pear shaped? No. <laughs> All right. How about you, BJ? What do you got? All right. So I got round. I got a yo-yo. All right, yo yo. Perfect. I got square box top. Box top. That's perfectly square. Uh, too. Perfect square. <laughs> perfect square. Perfect square. The clearest All right, now, now, bear with me on this one for a moment. Actually, both of these. So, pear shapes, perhaps. Oh, no. Perhaps. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 
Perhaps a pear? Shaped? Smaller and not bigger than one. That's an apple. Well, yeah, you didn't say not apple shaped. You said pear. Upside down, this could be a pear. But it needs, shaped. it needs more up parts. It needs more topness. I feel. What do you feel, Amanda? How are you feeling about this? I want to see the next thing. What's Upside the, down what's apple. the last thing that you have? That would count in round. You had pear, square. Triang triangular. Ah, it's a triangle. <laughs> that it's is. just a fucking triangle. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm a, I'll, let you, I'll let you judge it, Amanda. You know how I feel. Okay. It's not a goddamn pear, and it's not pear-shaped because it's apple-shaped. Let's find out after... <laughs> this musical break. Oh, I'll look over here. They have to. They have to make. Their Ladies, way. gentlemen, and everyone in between the, or beyond, please that. welcome Pretty Girls on the radio. I can't roll my R. song for Nick Feather. I always thought you'd live to see the day When we had chased our fears away They said about you doing things I could never do. Turn my nights to day. Then a small thoughts with a stray. trick right up your sleeve stuck in your hometown stuck in your hometown you close your Close your eyes and wished it all away. Let the dark parts of the day. And just like they said about us, the kids that smoke and drink and cuss. Wished it all away. You used to have a lot to say. You let it out and let it in And then I lost another friend and Oh, it brings you down And falling out used to be Nothing but an empty scheme Stuck in your hometown Stuck in your home
I always thought you'd live to see the day We had kept those sick fuckers at bay And just like they said about me And all the things I'm supposed to be Slowly tripped away I used to have a lot to say you let it out and let it in Then I lost another friend Oh, it brings you down but Falling out used to be Nothing but an empty scheme Stuck in your hometown Stuck in your hometown represents that. Ready? Yeah. All right. Your first two metaphors are the loss of innocence, the meaning of life. Go. I'm just doodling. <laughs> yeah, you're doodling all over your cards. Your cards look much prettier than mine. So pretty, they should be on the radio. Ah, call back to the band that's here. That was so loud. I know, I'm really <laughs> bad right now. Oh, they're gonna bring you a condom. They're gonna bring me a condom? Lo oh, they're gonna oh, bring me a condom. So, so, <laughs> so, like, Ika, you think that they're going to bring us a condom for a loss of innocence? Got it. Why aren't you dancing? That's, right. That's a loss of there innocence. That's a loss of innocence. Or right the there. meaning of life. Or meaning oh. of life. It could be. Oh. All right, uh, they're back. Cut it, okay. Jacob. All right. What have you brought us for the loss of innocence, BJ? For the loss of innocence, I brought a game that taught me how to curse ghouls and goblins. Ghouls ghosts and, and goblins. Ghosts and goblins. Yeah, ghosts and goblins by the Omni NES. Fantastic. I love it. Ding, 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 ding. ding. How about the, the meaning curse. of life? Okay. Meaning of life is to better ourselves into robots. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, why is your name on it? I know. Why is your name on it? Because this box was given to me, because friendship is the other part of the meaning of life. Oh, you you're stretching. You're without. stretching, oh, man. man. Oh. You know what? We'll decide if you get a point after we see Megan's. Megan, what is your loss yeah, of innocence? Yeah, might as well just give Megan some points. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, what's your loss of innocence? Uh, it's the box to my menstrual cup because getting my period was lost my incense because it fucking sucks. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Uh, what, how about the meaning of life? Uh, meaning, I brought, uh, the meaning of life is making memorable memories with your friends because we're all going to die and nothing is, so make the most of this life possible. So I brought this collage of the honeymoon with my husband where we went wine tasting and went to the Winchester Mystery House. Super fucking cool. That's beautiful. And out of your honeymoon with BJ, BJ, you will also receive a point for your box or whatever. Cool. Yeah, box or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The next.
next two metaphors. I'm going to say the first one. Are hope and the sinking void. Go. Those were, I, I loved BJ's Lost of Innocence and I loved Megan's Lost of Innocence. I think both of them were fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, Megan's was very meaningful. I think that uh, BJ wasn't off course entirely. That I sounds think like a good time for Cthulhu. But it went... Good time for Cthulhu? Meaning of life for Cthulhu, I felt like, would have been more creative, yeah. Well, no, like, the void. The sinking void. Oh, yeah, sinking void, good. grabbing Absolutely. a Cthulhu. Totally. Absolutely. Totally. Uh, we'll see if he, we'll see if he remembers. We'll see if that... Yeah, we didn't tell them they can't use the same object. Did not tell them Can shit. they hear what we're we saying right now? shit. <laughs> I just like that face. Um, he was, he was trying to talk his way into getting a point. He was, that he was. He was. I ain't having it. And you know, he's the only one who was who has not lost a point in this competition. There are two people and one of them. Oh, has. time's up! Time's up! Bring us your hope and sinking void. Okay. Alright, where's Megan? I don't know. I think she went to the store. <laughs> <laughs> I think she went to the store! Oh god damn it. There she is. Alright, we'll have Megan go first this time. Remember that my young thinking despair because I found nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh man, what about your hope? <laughs> I have no hope. I, mean, so. I think you just get one point because I feel like all you gave us was sinking void. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She is kind of a sinking void. I agree. <laughs> all right, BJ, what did you bring us? Okay, so what do you want first? Pick one. Surprise us. Okay, um, oh. neither. Oh, <laughs> oh. Zip driver. You hope you can keep this thing full up. You know, you hope you keep your house together, keep all that stuff. You need uh, tools to bring you hope. Keep it, uh, keep your life moving. All right, all right. Point. Okay, how about sinking void? Sinking void. Pretty the little. Feeling you get <laughs> when you're at a party and the toilet stops sinking, stops draining. Stop and it sinking. Just starts to fill. Uh, absolutely acceptable. You're going <laughs> real literal with it, and I get it. Mm hmm. <laughs> you can also see how long it's been since we plugged the toilet. <laughs> this is covered in dust and spider webs. I don't know if that makes you healthy or unhealthy, to be honest. <laughs> and I don't want to know. Farts. Because <laughs> we are on it now. <laughs> You guys just poop into each other's butts, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how you get married. And Jack knows. Yeah. Every every night. <laughs> every night. Okay. That's why cheating what? is such a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Moving okay, on. Guys. All right. Uh, all right. There's two more okay. metaphors. We haven't even gotten into this other shit. Two more metaphors. Um, so I like this need, metaphors one. Uh, we need something that represents a broken heart and death everlasting. Go! Things that I'll accept. Yeah, let's go through things we'll accept. Cthulhu, I would accept Cthulhu uh, yeah. for death everlasting. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I'm like ashes. Ashes of any old dead pet. Broken heart. Broken heart too. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, Death everlasting. Um, Grim Reaper. If you just brought anything with a Grim Reaper on it. Anything rotting. Ooh. Yeah. You got a rot, rotting. rotten apple. In the I feel like they won't have no, a rotten No. Because their shits are so smooth. Their shits are so smooth. And they don't even clog the toilet. I'm like, I don't want to hear about this. And yet, I keep bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs>
Here's BJ. Hi, BJ. All right. Hello. BJ, what do you have for a broken heart? Let me. Uh, <laughs> point! <laughs> what do you have for death everlasting? A broken Freddy Krueger. Bottlehead. <laughs> give, me, give me some reasons. Uh, so not only is that, so death, death everlasting can mean death. I mean, literally, this guy brought tons and tons of death. He also brought tons of death of innocence as well. Plus, this was like the first set of horror movies I ever saw. So it also represents when I started getting into like the death of that thought. <laughs> Wanting to kill people, ask me too many questions about explaining death. Um, and, you know, just a uh, little well, Freddy Krueger guy. Bubblehead. I already gave him a point. All right, Amanda already <laughs> gave you a point. You win this time, cool. BJ. I, I'm just getting the heck out of here on that high note. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Megan, what did you bring me for a broken heart? Um, I brought one of my mini girls from high school. <gasps> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> Can you read some passages? No, never read it. Let's burn all of our journals in the yard. I wanted to read passages over the credits rolling. <laughs> um, and then, how about yeah. Death Everlasting? Bring... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like, all right, yep, yep, yep. Because marriage is forever. And it's the yeah. uh, scope. And they're dead. And they're dead. <laughs> and they're dead. It's Are also because they're dead. Like, Heike is not into it. I want her to have an extra point for that one. That was pretty good. So right. marriage doesn't last forever, but it's supposed to, and they were two dead married people. There are two people talking at once. What did you say, BJ? I said that I would, she should get another point for that death everlasting. That's really good. All right. I did. Uh, take a point away from BJ and give it to Megan since he has volunteered for her to have another point. Is that a That's sign fine. that BJ is feeling dead on the inside from his marriage? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do one more. You wanna do the final final metaphor? Uh, and I really okay. So here's your Man. task. So this one, it's one thing, and I want you to be personal with it, maybe. I want you to get real personal. This this one, I want you to really, like, really work it out. Okay. And then uh, once you guys, once we're done with this, we're going to cut to our band that hey. Tony had to run out and get. <laughs> that Tony had to run out and get. And when I say we're going to cut to you guys, that means get, get ready. <laughs> okay. Get your shit on your other shit. Okay. Are you guys ready? I mean, put your guitars on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Social anxiety. Go! So, uh, we unfortunately are skipping over a lot of things because we're just having too much gosh darn fun with these metaphors. Um, so I think that uh, we should uh, bounce around. I'm going to be vague just in case they can hear us. I think that we should bounce between acts uh, round three in Act Three, for Act Three. What do you think, Amanda? I think that we should. Just, well, I think we should just focus on uh, Act Two, Scene Three, because I think that'll take a long time. All right. So no more Act and, Three. And if Act Three, if we have time, we can do Act Three as a bonus. All right. Act Three is a bonus. Done and done. Oh, Time's up. We're missing. Where's your faces? We're just staring in strangers' Where are your house. Faces? faces. I don't see any living creature here. Fingers and faces. Faces and sounds. They killed each other. They killed oh, each other. Oh, they did. That's so. Oh, maybe. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. If they don't show up again, and this is their social anxiety. Oh damn it. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, fine. You're participating or whatever. Did you just bring us more books? <laughs> I got a lot of books. <laughs> Once again, for the late, the great, <laughs> Pretty Girls on the Radio. Make you smile, hanging around just for a 
Nothing, no place to hide It's all the way it's been deep inside I'm making sound Living high up on the hill Though it's cheap and for the thrill Going around Oh, the sound's so deep and mild Hear the vehicles cunning wild Gone around And it hits you there You fell through the air to the floor And something strikes you down You may find yourself found on the floor You there, you sail through the air to the floor. To the floor, something strikes you down. You may find yourself found on the floor. On the floor. Nothing at all. Living young and wild and free, home alone with your TV, not making a sound. Living just for the thrill, dirty as a dollar bill that I got. And everything here is free, everything but you and me. Sail through the air to the floor And something strikes you down You may find yourself found on the floor And it hits you there Sail through the air to the floor To the floor Something strikes you down you may find yourself found on the floor, on the Coffee. Fabulous and loud. Yep. All right, guys. All right. Are you ready for this last round with a possible yes. bonus round? Yes. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, this is riddles. So you first, we're going to tell you the riddle. Then you're going to solve the riddle. And you're going to prove to us that you solved the riddle by bringing us the thing that the riddle is. Okay. All, All right. right. <laughs> Your first riddle. What is full of holes but can still hold water? Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, they're going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, we still got a minute. Well, he gets he gets a first pointer. Yeah, right? he does get a first pointer. You got a minute, Megan. This one's like all left. Do I need to give it out here? Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. we don't know what you're talking about. 
Nice punch. Goddamn. Not in front of the other competitor. We, I, I held her. I, just, I beat her to the sink. <laughs> I know. Beat you. Her. All right. Cut it, Jacob. I beat her in the kitchen. And There's only I took one it from sponge. The, the you need more sponges. We need more sponges. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> All right. BJ gets a point. Megan gets no points. All oh. right. Amanda, you want to read the next riddle? Sure. What? Wait, where's BJ? There okay. he is. What has hands but cannot clap? Go! Go. That doesn't have hands. Riddle Amanda? Sure. What gets wetter and wetter the more it dries? Go! <laughs> <laughs> we got like, like. I know we have no time. <laughs> we have no time. We have no time. Thanks everybody for coming to the show. For real. We're not wrapping up yet. I just want to say thank you. I hope you guys had fun in general. Yeah. I mean, I hope this was amusing. There's a dog on that screen. Oh, oh, oh Megan. Cut it, Jacob. Yeah. Oh. All right, oh, Megan brought a towel. That's correct. BJ brought a what? A towel. towel. All right, both <laughs> correct. Points all around. Oh what? Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's. I think it's a manatee in a canoe. Oh, it yeah, is it a is. manatee in a canoe. Because I've seen those towels before. <laughs> all right, here is your next riddle. What has seas with no water? Coasts with no sound. Sand. Towns without people. And mountains with no land. Go! Oh. <laughs> All of them are like, All oh. Are like ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. That makes sense. Checks out. Checks out, everybody. Nobody needs to worry about it. I've checked it out. The riddle's correct. How's your book, Andrew? Adequate? Better than this. Actually, I'm quite enjoying Cut it, Jacob. Hey, um, BJ, what is that? Because it's blurry as fuck. Yeah, it's blurry as fuck. I think I framed it, though. You did. Yeah. <laughs> it's a map. It's a map, and that's correct. Megan. I have a picture of an atlas, because we don't actually own an atlas. I'll accept it. You, cool. you, went, you, you, worked, you worked at it. All right, Mandy, you want to do another riddle? Um, what time we got? Okay. Uh, uh oh, shit. Oh, okay. shit. What? It, are you both here? Are you both here? All right. <laughs> What's tall when it's young, but short when it's old? Go! Ooh, it's hard. This, one, this, one's a bit, this one's a bit trickier. Ah, uh, you want to do that one? I want to do that one. And then we'll go to Francis. I think. Dude, I we think. won't have time. We'll try it. We'll do like one phrase. You just want to do I it. I really want to do one phrase. It's going to take forever. <laughs> Don't make that face like I do. You better be dancing. Okay, you we'll do this dancing. last one and then we'll do a phrase and then we'll close it out. I don't know, man. We're going to try to Man. 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 Ma'am. 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 <laughs> No, ma'am. <laughs> We're just saying words. Are they just look? They, They're just they looking. haven't even solved the riddle. Did you guys even solve the riddle? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you dweebs. The answer was candle. Oh, we don't have them. We don't have any. I'm scared of fire. Oh, Tony also would have accepted a pencil. <laughs> is what he said. Okay. Okay, Wait, we got have one. you we driven one BJ to drinking? Tony, you are yep. amazing. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, we got one more riddle, and then we're going to go into a bonus round real quick. Okay, last riddle. What's cooler than being cool? Go! <laughs> Make it stop! Make it stop! Gone. Immediately gone! <laughs> Immediately gone! She, like, ducks him in the Yeah! <laughs> Megan gets two points. I assume BJ gets oh, ones because oh. he knows that it's an ice cube. Alright. I, I, I can identify objects. Yeah, I can identify objects. Okay, so we're gonna try to do this really quick, really quick, really quick. Um, I'm gonna give you this phrase. You have to find three things in it. Are you ready? I liked yours better. No. Yeah. Uh... He drinks a whiskey drink, he drinks a vodka drink, he drinks a lager drink, he drinks a cider drink. Go! I know! Tell it to fucking cat, dude! Shut up, Tony! Stay behind the camera where you belong! Uh, while we're waiting for them in this minute, I'm going to say thank you to everyone except Tony. Uh, for participating and helping. Thank you to pretty girls on the radio. And dudes, we're gonna probably see you later. Don't go. Uh.